join me for the Pledge of Allegiance, please? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, celebration. Well, our um, HNAC math comp competition was just recently held at LaVille, and um, Casty finished fourth overall, and we had uh, some students that finished in the top ten in their divisions, and that included Is Isabel Newcomb, who was first in calculus, by the way, um, Hannah Siders, who was second in calculus. We had first and second place in the calculus competition. Sam Miller, who placed sixth in pre-calculus, and uh, Bryn Bichkowski, who placed sixth in Algebra two. So they did a great job, and our FFA students sponsored an Easter egg hunt for the community, and we had over 80 kids here um, participating, hunting over 1,400 eggs. So, wonderful. Good evening for that. Thank you. Public comment is for advertised items. Okay, consent agenda. Any questions, discussion? If not, I have a motion. Mr. President, I move to approve the consent agenda as it is written. And I'll second that. I have a motion and a second to approve the consent agenda as printed. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries by zero. No old business, going to new business, item A. Consider request for the Caston FFA to hold their annual FFA Awards and Appreciation Banquet on Wednesday, May 15th. Which that's usually our off night, but... Right. The, the problem they're getting into is so many of the FFA kids are baseball track and everything else, and so they, the majority of them, the officers and such, would not be able to participate, so... They asked for an exception to the policy so they could have it on a night that kids could actually be there. They ever thought about considering uh, having it between the basketball and baseball season instead of uh, so late in the season? I don't know. I don't know if they've, I mean, I know the FFA banquet's always been at the end of the year. I don't know that it would necessarily have to be, but I know they, they do you know, acknowledge a lot of the accomplishments of the kids and a lot of their judging and stuff like that takes place in the spring. So I don't know if that has anything to do with it or... I just noticed a lot of pictures of uh, other chapters having it two weeks, three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. It would be nice if they have it between the cutoff between basketball and baseball. But are those FFA competitions done at that time? Well, there's one tomorrow night, I guess. but. I don't know. I just know there's a lot of other chapters that have them earlier. I always find it interesting because that is always when when the dads are in the field. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Exactly. And that's why I was saying. Yeah. It's the FFA chapter. Yeah. I find it interesting. If there's no further discussion, do we have a motion? Mr. President, I uh, move to uh, accept the uh, CASA's FFA request to have their annual appreciation banquet on Wednesday, May 15th. And I'll second. Have a motion and a second to approve item A under new business. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries 5 0. Item B, declaration of open out of district enrollment with deadline for accepting students for the 2019 2020 school year as August 1st, 2019. Limitations of 15 students per grade level K 12 or as additional space allows per Caston School Corporation out of district and room policy. This is an annual uh, notice that we need to give and it pretty much has been this the same notice that we've just rolled from year to year and it seems to <coughs> meet our needs. This is required too in the state? Yes. Okay, thank you. Anybody have any questions or discussion? I have a motion? Mr. President, I would like to make a motion to declare open out-of-district enrollment deadline for accepting students for the 2019-2020 school year as August 1st, 2019, limitations of 15 students per grade level in K-12 
or as additional space allows for casting school corporations out of district normal policy. <coughs> and I'll second. I have a motion and a second to approve item B under new business. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion carries 5 0. Item C, consider approval for casting school board members and superintendent to attend 2019 ISBA spring region meetings. And this is usually one where we find out a lot of information after the right. long session. Mm -hmm. They usually give a legal update and, and um, you know, the last couple of years we've attended at the trails location instead of going up to Plymouth and I, I think I sent the schedule out to you guys. Mm -hmm. So you know whatever the trails is on the fifth sixth sixth i would like to go to the trails mine says five mine says the fifth but i the fifth is a sunday okay i mean so it's probably not the fifth <laughs> <laughs> yeah, i don't think the trails is open that late on sunday if you want to <laughs> I suppose we can go camp out there and wait. Yeah, and wait. Like I'm not going to be there till probably <laughs> quarter till six on Monday. But you boys want to see? Final nap. <laughs> <laughs> if there's no further discussion, do I have a motion? I move that we a approve for the school board and the superintendent to go to the 2019 ISBA spring meetings. Second. I have a motion and a second to approve item C under new business. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? How soon do you need to know? I probably need to RSVP fairly quickly, so if you guys could let me know. If you don't know tonight, you know, let me know. I'll ASAP. Be there. For the you guys trails. are looking at the yeah. 6th at the trails. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I can't commit. What about you? Do you know whether it's going to be raining or not? Well, that's not the same problem I, I have. Yeah. We'll just yeah. see the monthly forecast. Well, it'll, well, it'll be snowing. <laughs> Christy, did you say one way or the other? Yeah, I'll do May 6th. Okay. <clears throat> I'd like to go. Okay. I have yet to go to this part of my zone. Item D, consider approval to advertise for the following positions. High school math teacher, high school Spanish teacher, instructional assistant, and a Caston school bus route driver. I'm guessing probably the math and Spanish are gonna be the most difficult. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, as opposed to maybe the bus driver. Science as well, we currently have a science opening and that's uh, that'll be a difficult one to fill as well. All of them last year were we had minimal applicants, but we're early. Hopefully, we can get some applicants, and then I'll I'm also going to try to pursue some applicants instead of waiting for them to come to us. Any questions? Discussion? Mm -hmm. I have a motion. Mr. President, I move to approve to advertise for the following positions, high school math teacher, high school Spanish teacher, instructional assistant, casted school bus driver. And I will second that. I have a motion and a second to approve item D under new business. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries 5 0. Other business? I don't see any around, so yeah. reports and information. Uh, Chuck, would you like to do your yeah, I've got a few things, and I got a little show and tell uh -huh. as well too. So, um, well, can't wait for this. yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, just while we're talking about staffing, real quick, I just thought I would let you know as far as uh, just an update on. So we had a science position out there um, that's been uh, you know, advertised for three weeks, probably. Uh, we have um, a math position and, uh, and the alternative position and then the AD uh, assistant principal position as well. Uh, to update you, we've had zero applicants for the science, zero for the for, for math, and zero, and one for the alternative room, and 34 applicants as of today uh, for the uh, AD assistant principal. So uh, there'll be a lot of uh, you know, screening of those and the 
deciding where we're going to go with that. We just kind of we got a week week and a half to go until that ends as well. We we closed that on April 26th, so next Friday. Um, I know there's some more out there because I've been contacted with some questions and <coughs> that point, they were going to apply for the position. So wouldn't surprise me if we we had 40 applicants for that when it went all said and done. So. Uh, an update a little bit on uh, we had our HNAC, but just last night we had um, our academic Super Bowl team uh, go to the regionals uh, yesterday or the district uh, at uh, Frankfurt and we had uh, a science team come in first place and a math team that came in second and the others did not they weren't as uh, well represented uh, as I was told that the math team and the science team recruited better, they recruited the top first, the top student in that scene in our senior class to be on both of those teams, and that person helped them to a uh, first and second. So they'll, uh, you know, we'll wait and see if we qualify to go to the state level as well. I believe that might be at Purdue. Of course. Where else would it yes. be? Yes. Uh, we are. <laughs> Upcoming days, we got Feb or, uh, April 23rd. We've got a freshman over orientation coming up. Uh, we're currently in ISEP 10 testing uh, this week, and <coughs> next week and the week after, we'll be in iLearn testing, grades six, seven, and eight. And, and Angie could maybe elaborate more if she wanted to, but <laughs> it's just it's it's the, it's testing time, and we've got our sixth, seventh, and eighth graders. Will after our seventh and eighth graders will be testing five days in a row. Our sixth graders will be testing seven days in a row, and so it's a, it's just something that is required, and it's going to be something that uh, it's just not us. So uh, it, it is happening now. Our sophomores are a little bit more uh, condensed, and they're in their second uh, session of that. So yeah, and it's only three days, so that's not as much. And which then leads me to my show and tell item that I have that. Uh, Woodlawn Hospital contacted me and they donated, uh, they wanted to donate some uh, trauma bags and I wasn't sure what they were talking about and I was thinking it was going to be some small item. And they, they were planning on coming to our safety meeting on uh, the 26th, I believe, and we have one every month at the last Friday. With, and they were going to come in and present us the bags and then they were going to kind of go through everything and they just dropped them off day or two ago or was it it might have been you know they just dropped them off and said we don't know whether we're going to be there or not and uh, they, they hopefully they plan on it um, so I kind of went through it I'll just show you a little bit what it is and it is for mass trauma so if there was something that happened in the school related to and, and they're relating everything to a, a school shooting now or something like that so um, and again I don't know how, it, how all the devices work but Obviously, there's two of these, so you know you can obviously see it. You know what uh, you, you know what it is, and uh, I'm not sure where we're going to place them. We'll probably talk about it at our at our meeting. But there's multiple uh, in here, a different type of uh, things for care of the wounded. So if this this bag is filled right here with that with those right there. Uh, one of the things I know they've talked about at the, if I can find them, is it has multiple tourniquets as well. So in case there's bleeding that needs to be um, stopped, and so there's multiple of those. And I know that when we go to Rochester, they've talked about uh, purchasing multiple. Stop the bleed kits. Stop the, the little, bleed kits. Yeah. And they're, they're, they're these little kits, and we have one of those that was given to us. It's just a little red bag, and it has just one item of each in it. But this has multiple of these. So, uh, and then it, it does have. Where is some? Oh, here's the. Uh, uh, there's three or four of these too, and I thought these were kind of neat. But I don't know where you would wear them. I'm guessing maybe on your head or something. But it's different lights. They work great in the crawl space and attic. Yeah, and it has some red lights. So I like. I was playing with it. Then it, then it's flashing. That's even. You know, that's even. 
Yeah, I don't know exactly. Now we're supposed to, we're supposed to be going to get trained on every how we're supposed to use all of these. So uh, it's kind of neat, though. It's kind of neat. And again, each one of these items I'm showing you, there's multiple in the bag. So it's a, and and we have two of these bags. It has a blanket. I'm not going to pull it out, but it's got a blanket in there. It's got a sheet in there. It's got some. I call them glow sticks, and, you know, that break them in so just in, and so you can have some lighting and things like that. Um, just wanted to see that. What am I missing? I don't know what I'm missing. Uh, looks like might need some band-aids, might need some Purell, something like that. So it's just they've donated it. I know that these probably are, are costly, and they've donated two to us, and so I just wanted to let you know that they've done that. And we'll decide in our safety committee meeting of where we're going to further is going to be placed and hopefully they're never used. Anyway. You say that was from Woodlawn? That's from Woodlawn, correct. Uh, we just did finish, while we're talking about hospitals, we just did finish our free physical night tonight. Uh, started at 3.30 and just finished up just a little after 6 and we, and you know, Memorial Hospital there in Logansport provides all of that for free and we've got 120 of our students through with free physical so that's that's a great thing um, from them as well i want to say something on that erin klein organizes that puts that together and it's a monster and a beast and she does a very good job of it and i know it's very i mean it's a big orchestration to get all that done so kudos to her erin's done a great job this year she's done an excellent job i think That's all I have. Okay, thanks, I'm good. I don't have anything. We're still, as usual, continuing to monitor students. Um, I just want to add to the testing. You can explain the five and seven days. Um, they give us the testing exchanges here from time for the third through eighth graders to not being timed. So they can take as much time as they need. They've given us some guidance. And they've also said you can only test one session a day. So that has spread it out. Um, so that it sounds, I mean, it sounds bad that their children will not be testing more than an hour and a half a day for, lang or for language arts or math. And then we do have one for those that take science or biology, they have a two hour session with sixth graders and biology one students. So that's the longest anybody will be testing today. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, do you have anything? Uh, no, not really. Okay. Uh, public comment? I have a comment. Um, just wanted to let you all know uh, we are planning a walk-in rally on April 24th, which is next Wednesday morning. I'm not sure of the exact start time, whether we're doing 7.30. I know James was going to get with Cindy and kind of get some details ironed out. But um, statewide, schools are joining with their communities, with school boards. Um, and interestingly enough, the UAW said that they wanted to know when the units in, or when the schools in our area were going to plan the rallies because they would like to lend some of their support. But it's just to show that we're united to get appropriate funding for public schools. What was the date, time of that? It is April 24th, and Cindy, I'm not sure. We haven't really discussed yeah, the time. I, didn't think I, I believe it's going to be weather permitting. I believe it's going to be out close to the patio area outside, and I think they're going to have some donuts and um, and kudos to our teachers. You know, several of the school corporations are doing a walkout where the teachers will walk out. Our teachers opted to do a walk in and, and present a united front, walking in to do their jobs on time that day and but still you know showing their support in a united way and I'm, I'm just i'm proud of our teachers and i just think that really um shows that they put kids first is this the same as what i've been saying online about a red out or something like that red for ed yeah is red for ed. hashtag red for ed and um and i'm just going to share the last couple two two tuesdays i've been down lobbying at the state house and um both Ethan Manning and Randy Head have been very willing to talk to us and cooperative and they've made some favorable votes and changes for public schools. So I, I think there was a, a rally at the State House 
there have been a, actually a couple of them, but I, I think teachers are showing that you know we want what's right and good for our kids. If you get a time on that, can you send it to us? I'm, I'm thinking 7.30, but I'll, I'll let you know if there's a, a different... In the morning, if, if you were here at 7.30 a.m., you'd be... I mean, is this something sure. that, that you're... That he was talking about red. Is it, is it yes, we're going to we're gonna try to get so notes okay. home to the kids. Okay. And we wanted to make sure we had the time set with Cindy before we did that to encourage the kids and teachers and, you know, aides, any workers to wear red that day just to show your support. And community members are invited, so... Um, hopefully we'll get a nice turnout. Thank you. Uh, board comment. Next meeting will be May 15th, 6.30. And you have any kind of an update on the administration bill? Well, um, right now it's at a standstill because of a glitch with one of the permits. So. Um, I don't know all the details. I, I know that Cass County now requires uh, a landscape plan to be submitted with a permit for a public building. And so there's some, um, they were hoping they could get it resolved and be back to work yet this week, but it could potentially be the 23rd because they only meet once a month to, to consider those. So that's right now what's holding up although i did talk with gary fisher today and he said that they're getting a lot of work done behind the scenes as far as um approval so they can go ahead and order uh, you know things and so that nothing like that is being held up but they got a lot done um i mean if you poke your head in you, it, the, the entire inside is got it you know, so they've, really? they've done a lot of work and do you so, have a time for that next construction meeting? Because we sent that out and it wasn't on what I got. I believe May 15th at 930. I'll double check. You say May 15th? That's what you told me. Now, back up. Because his email said that the date would be at the bottom of the page, but there's no date. <laughs> I, I didn't know the date either, and he just this evening sent me that. I did ever hand. I was humanly possible with the computer trying to find it. I thought, <laughs> oh well, it could be there, and I'll never find it. Oh, you're oh, talking about April twenty fifth at at nine a.m. So I had the wrong month, wrong time, wrong you, day. You were close though. What? You uh, wore close up. <laughs> yeah, five minutes. <laughs> yeah, see? At nine, you say nine a.m.? Nine a.m. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, you guys are talking about that May 15th date. You just approved the FFA banquet to be on that night. So that traditionally is usually about 6.30 or 7. It used, so that's the same night as the board meeting. Uh, oh, so. Good point. Sure, what you want to well, do, change it. do we with want, that? Do we want to change our board meeting? And I don't know what time that, that FFA is. I'm guessing 6 30. So, it said 7. yeah, it was either 6 30 or 7. And normally, it was 7 because it was they had to put it at 7 because it was a baseball, baseball game or softball game. So, it could be an earlier time. And because 7 sometimes, I mean, those the kids would come in starving. It's seven o'clock. Yeah. yeah, usually we came in and went back out to the pole. Yeah. Do we have anything going on the 14th or the 16th of May? 16th is track section. Yeah, there would be. And so is the 14th. Yeah, there's Tuesday and Thursday would be, uh, I mean, you know, based on the timing of it. I mean, you could probably still have the board meeting. How about if we have our meeting a little earlier? Uh, on, that's on what I was wondering. But I mean, we're not even 30 minutes in and we're basically done. But How early do you want that? Oh, 3.30, 4 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> if they're not going to have their banquet until 7, I would think 6 would work. I would think 6 would work for yeah. us. Yeah. I would do that. 
I can check tomorrow on the time. And I mean, I think originally it was it on the seven. calendar? Well, it was on the calendar originally um, on a baseball date, but that they set the time based on there was a game. And so I don't know where they want to go at 630. They've got a letter in here with I was going to say, did the letter say? say yeah, the letter um, It does I think not. it just had the date. On oh, the letter? It, had the time. Yeah, it doesn't say a time. Oh. So, I'm guessing 6 o'clock. We start, start at 6, probably. It said that they will try to start after the practices are done for the night. It's going to be 6 o'clock on a Wednesday. Right, they're over at 545. Oh, okay, so they, they, they roughly they, 6. I mean, right. They're supposed to be out mm -hmm. in here. That's probably when they do 630 so kids can get cleaned up and right. get an official dress. Mm -hmm. Can you make it by 530? I mean, it's 530 too early. I can leave early. Can everybody else make it by 530 on the 15th? Or even 545. Yeah. That, that gives us 45 minutes. Let's, let's just go for 545, okay? Way we should be safe. I'll get with Nick tomorrow on the time and just see where we're at. Does it work for you, Christy? Yep. Jeff, it work for you? Okay. Let's be right in that day. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you can start doing that. You don't need a farm anymore. I know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> You've got two things going on that night. It's going to be the best day of the week. Yes, it will be. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Well, we can go down right after the meeting and have a great meal because they always have really good food. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. There's nothing else to add. Motion to adjourn. Mr. President, I make a motion to adjourn. Second. I have a motion and a second to adjourn the meeting. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All good. Okay.